Hello and welcome back to Daily Eco. Today we want to explain what flora and fauna are and their importance to the environment and ecosystems. What is flora? Ever wonder where the word flora comes from? Well, it's named after Flora, the Roman goddess of flowers, spring and gardens. Today we use this term for all plants, trees, shrubs, flowers and other greenery found in specific areas. We talk about flora at different scales, from your backyard garden to an entire continent. Scientists also study how plants have changed through different climate periods throughout Earth's history. Flora generally falls into three main groups. Native flora, and these are the plants that naturally grow in an area without human help, the original plant residence, if you will. Then we have agricultural flora. These are the plants humans cultivate for food, medicine or decoration. And finally, wild plants, often called weeds. These plants grow where they want. While people used to try to eliminate them, we now understand many play important roles in nature and should not be removed. What is fauna? Just like flora, the term fauna has mythological roots. Fauna was a Roman goddess associated with forests and animals. Today, fauna refers to all the animals living in a specific area during a particular time period. In fact, it can be grouped into different categories. First, we have wildlife, which are animals living naturally without being domesticated. And within this group, we have native wildlife, which are animals that naturally belong in their ecosystem and that have been there for a long time. And also we have non-native wildlife, which are basically animals found in places that are different from their original homes, often brought there by humans. Then we have domestic fauna. These are the animals humans have tamed to live alongside us. Think about dogs, cats, cows, horses, chickens, and more. We raise them for companionship, work or food, endemic, native and invasive species. Understanding where species come from helps us know the role in nature. Here are three key concepts. Endemic species. These are the local exclusives, plants and animals found only in one specific region and nowhere else naturally. The Iberian lynx, for example, is found only on the Iberian Peninsula. Then we have native species. These are the locals that belong to an area but might live in other places too. All endemic species are native, but not all native species are endemic. They are more widespread. And then we have invasive species. These are the unwelcome visitors plants or animals that move into new ecosystems, usually because of human activity, and reproduce so quickly they harm local species. They compete for food and space, often pushing native species toward extinction. Why flora and fauna matter? Plants and animals aren't just pretty to look at. They are essential for healthy ecosystems. Plants produce the oxygen we breathe, help regulate climate, and provide food and homes for countless creatures. Animals pollinate plants, spread seeds, and keep pest populations in check. Without this intricate web of life, ecosystems would collapse, directly affecting our quality of life and survival. When we protect biodiversity, we are actually protecting our own future on this planet. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more ecology videos like this one. Until next time.